Hey everyone! In today's video, we're diving into the top features in macOS Sequoia that are set to transform the way you use your Mac. From enhanced multitasking to powerful new tools, I'll walk you through the best updates you need to know. Let's get started, before we proceed, if your MacBook running out of storage check out the description where I mention the best hard drive for Mac, anyway let's drive into the main video. Number 1, iPhone Mirroring, with Sequoia, you can open an image of your iPhone screen on your Mac and use your keyboard, mouse, or trackpad to do almost anything you could do directly on your phone. It's much more than the traditional screen mirroring used for watching videos from your Android or iPhone on your TV, and it goes beyond the existing feature that lets you make calls from your Mac. With the new iPhone mirroring, you can run almost any iPhone app, swipe through the home screen, and fully control your phone using your computer's input devices. Advanced security features ensure that no one near your phone can see how you're using it from your Mac. Additionally, iPhone notifications now appear on your Mac screen, and when you click on a notification, the corresponding app on your iPhone opens on your Mac's display. In the early Sequoia beta, two of my third-party iPhone apps didn't run in iPhone mirroring, but I expect these glitches to be resolved by the time of the public release. Number 2, Passwords app, third-party password managers have been around for over a decade, but I've never trusted my passwords with any of them. Now, Apple's new Passwords app brings all your website passwords, Wi-Fi passwords, and passkeys into one place. It works across both macOS and iOS, with an iCloud Passwords app for Windows on the way. Apple may be late to the game, but the new Passwords app already outshines the competition. Number 3, Text Effects and Emoji in Messages Facebook Messenger already has stickers, but I prefer sticking to native macOS and iOS apps when I can. That's why I'm excited to see animated stickers in Apple's Messages app. Messages also gets text effects like bold and italic, something Facebook Messenger doesn't have. Plus, you can now schedule messages to send later, even while you're fast asleep. Number 4, Window Tiling. Windows users have been snapping windows to the top and sides of the screen for years, and now macOS users can do the same without needing a third-party app. Sequoia even takes it up a notch with a title bar icon that lets you divide the screen into quarters, not just halves. It was a bit clunky in the first Sequoia betas, but it's gotten smoother with each new update. Number 5 Audio transcription in notes and voice memos. If you don't feel like typing in the notes app, you can just let it transcribe your voice, or someone else's. No more struggling to remember what a lecturer said while you were busy typing a few seconds earlier, since the app records and transcribes in real time. The voice memos app now has this feature, too, alongside its regular recording functions. In the early beta, live transcription can be a little slow to start, but it eventually catches up and works just as promised. 
Number 6, A Standalone Viewer in Safari The DuckDuckGo browser includes a YouTube player that looks like a standalone app. Safari goes one better by providing a viewer that works with any video. It isn't easy to find if you don't know where to look, a new viewer icon, shown, that appears to the left of the address in Safari's menu bar. Number 7, Math in Notes. Start typing any equation in notes, type the equal sign, and the answer appears. You can also switch to notes directly from the calculator app and complete your calculation there. Number 8, Hide Distracting Items in Safari. Distraction control works, best with items that don't regularly change. It doesn't permanently hide ads or other items that update frequently. If other pages on the same website use the same items in the same way, they're hidden on those pages as well. Items hidden in one Safari profile are also hidden in other Safari profiles on the same device. It also helps to remove the content we don't want including the ads on the websites. Just click and it will disappear like magic. Number 9, Use Desktop Stacks on Mac, Desktop Stacks on your Mac neatly organize files on your desktop into groups. When you save a file to the desktop, it's automatically added to the appropriate stack. You can see the files are unorganized on the desktop after enabling the stack they are organized in better way and looks great.